Good afternoon. I am the Dollar Sportsman. Um, so I'm here volunteering at a scout camp this week, and I was going to be teaching a bunch of kids how to canoe, and uh, all of our plans got changed up. It turns out we ended up at an official camp because our unofficial areas um, were in extreme fire danger locations uh, due to the extreme drought in Arizona. So they've already got people to teach. <laughs> So I'm not sure what to do about that. So what else am I gonna do? I'm gonna make videos. I picked up one of these, it's a Fox Outfitters hammock. I don't know if you can see that, there we go, less glare. Fox Outfitters, um, I got this on sale, in fact I posted this onto the uh, Dollar Sportsman Facebook page, which you guys should all go search and follow. The Dollar Sportsman on Facebook. And uh, they had a promotion where they were doing supposedly free hammocks. Now, they weren't actually free. They said free, but what they were doing is racking up the shipping costs. They put $20 shipping, which is really expensive for shipping. But that's okay, I understand. That's marketing. And uh, these, these hammocks, though, for 20 bucks seem like a good deal. So I'm gonna set it up. I'm gonna see how well it is. It came with the straps as well to protect the trees so you don't you know, scrape up your trees and ruin them and ruin the bark on them. I'm gonna stick this across a couple of trees here and see how it goes and see how comfortable it is. And uh, depending on how long I actually end up being here, I may try to sleep in it. I'm not sure if uh, they'll actually need me at this point, but we'll find out. I think I found a couple of good trees. I should about do it. So we got the straps, and I like these because you can see how they, they're padded so that it doesn't mess up your tree. A couple of those, I like the fact that I didn't have to buy them separately because there are some companies that make hammocks and you have to buy the straps separate and I don't understand that. What's the purpose of that? Let's pull the hammock out. I like the bags, the carry bags that come with it. So you don't have to keep, you know, the plastic. These carry bags are quite nice. All right, and it's attached to the hammock. Isn't that awesome? A lot of them do that these days, and I'm so glad. So you don't lose them. This thing's looking pretty nice. Just, you know, initial impressions anyway. I'll hang it up on the tree and see how it goes. a little too far. Try some maybe these trees right here. Let's move you over. You guys still see okay? short of a space. Okay, not bad. So I said it wasn't adjustable, but these do provide a little bit of adjustment. If you take a look, see these knots right here? There are a couple of them down this anchor point, so you can anchor it at different locations depending. Which makes me wonder, maybe I could have reached out a, eh. No, probably not. That's okay. This seems like it's a pretty good spot.
goes nothing. Sweet. Ah, I like it. All right. This is pretty comfortable. You want to climb in my hammock with me? Ah. Try not to slip out here. Hey, this is nice. This thing, uh, so a lot of people talk about the right position to lay in a hammock. Because I've noticed the first time I ever tried using a hammock, my I put my legs straight up like this. That gets ridiculously uncomfortable very fast. So if you kind of diagonalize, diagonalize yourself, yes, I just made up that word, by tilting your head onto one side of the hammock here, like so, and put your legs on the other side, like that, then you lay more flat and you're more comfortable at night and you can kind of stretch out your entire body. I didn't know that. And uh, now I do, and I am super excited to try this out tonight. So we will uh, we'll give it a go. I think we're gonna do this. We are in bear country. So hopefully I don't get sniffed out at night because you know, if uh, sleeping bags are the soft taco of the bear world, then hammocks are going to be, I don't know, the chimichanga. Well guys, I'll report back tonight. We'll see how this goes and uh, see how comfortable it is. Now, one of the things about uh, hammock camping is the fact that you've got air running under you. A lot of uh, companies have figured this out and created over and under quilts. I really wanna get my hands on uh, some of those quilts. I haven't yet, but the whole idea is that you wrap yourself entirely with the quilt. So you have an over quilt that you sleep in on top and then an under quilt that you wrap around the bottom or you can put uh, guy lines over the top and uh, attach it to that, and so it kind of hangs around the entire, the entire um, hammock. And that should keep you warm because it insulates you from the bottom and the top. Again, I, I want to get my hands on that. Um, I've looked at some of the various brands, and there are a lot of really good brands that have come out just in the last few years online that aren't as expensive, and they seem to have really good reviews. I'm really interested in uh, trying some of those out. So. Hopefully I'll be able to pick one up sometime soon. Or if any of those brands are listening and want to send me one to test out, I'd be more than happy. I'm just saying. Just saying. All right, I've got a blanket stuffed under me to kind of for some insulation. In my sleeping bag, and uh, we're going to test this out and see how it goes. So I'll let you know in the morning. Y'all have a good night. Good morning, guys. Well, i got to say, last night, the hammock was great, but I was freezing cold. <laughs> so I had a blanket under me, and I was in my mummy bag, but uh, the blanket just would kind of crunch down to the bottom, the very bottom point of the hammock, so I wasn't able to keep, uh, keep warm everywhere. So an underquilt is definitely a necessity, I would say, but other than that, the hammock had no issues. It was pretty comfortable, actually, when, uh, when I wasn't freezing. I was able to get really comfortable, fall right to sleep, and uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. It was good. Despite the cold, it was good. So, Fox Outfitters, they made a good product. I like it. I'm the Dollar Sportsman. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll keep adventuring. Got some shotguns, a couple of buddies, and it's going to be a great day. I've got Tannerite. Oh, that should be fun. open real easy.
I'm the Dollar Sportsman. Well, I'm the Dollar Sportsman. I'm the Dollar Sportsman. Thank you for joining us today. You can get a lot of good stuff from this.